Welcome to another episode of Sailing Rum Punch. Oh. I've been struggling recently with motivation and getting out of bed and actually coming to the boat. Without Ellie being here, it is really tough. And I know I've spoken about this before. When you're just on your own, I've kind of got to... I've made some lunch, made some coffee and played with the dog. I just find it really difficult to get here. Once I'm here, I would find it really difficult to get started and really build up that motivation. So what I think I need to do is remember why I'm doing this. If you're wondering where I am... I've taken some work to top up the boat fund so Ben can get this boat built. At least I hope that's what he's doing. As I'm not involved with this episode, I left everything up to him, including the editing, which he's not done before. Let us know in the comments how you think he gets on. So today's episode is going to be a little different. It all started with a phone call from a friend. Hiya Ben, Um, we've just been watching your most recent video and we think it might be about time that you come out sailing. It's absolutely ridiculous when you get away for one day. We're going from Portland to Dartmouth and heading west, so um, if you'd like to come along, Ellie's more than welcome, come and join me, Scarlett, say hello Scarlett. Hi Ben. And Leia, who can't talk because she's got the zoomies, but yeah, come along. Get out of the workshop, get on a boat, come sailing, otherwise you'll forget what it's all about. We've been working hard on refitting Rummy, and it's time to take a break, set sail with friends, and remember why it is we're doing this. It's been quite a journey, and I'm thrilled to be back on the water. After only being out here for a few hours, I can tell you that this has significantly lowered my stress level. The tranquility of the sea, the sound of the waves and the gentle rocking motion of the boat can all contribute to a sense of calmness. As a relatively new boat to Matt and Scarlett, we couldn't leave port without a naming ceremony. So we need to, I'll go over here. So, oh, we're filming, let the filming, okay. So right, we've got purging ceremony. O mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and who venture upon the vast domain are required to pay homage, implore you in the graciousness to expunge for all time from your records and recollection the name Charisma. Neptune's renaming ceremony. O mighty rulers of the wind, through whose power our frail vessels traverse the wild and faceless deep, we implore you to grant this worthy vessel Scally Matt, the benefits and pleasures of your bounty. I am down in Portland where our story actually began. We're a year later and a friend Matt who had a boat just down from us when we bought the boat in Portland uh, invited me down to go on a sailing trip with him. I was supposed to come down a few days ago and we're going to have a few days on the water but the weather here has been absolutely crazy. We hit 40 knots of wind yesterday and it's just not worth going out in that kind of weather. So we had a lovely evening yesterday, went to the pub, had a nice dinner, and today the wind has completely died down. So it's just a case of waiting for the tide to turn now, and then uh, we'll be slipping lines and heading out. So Matt and Scarlett did the passage planning last night. We've checked over the weather this morning, and we look good to go. We'll be heading off, hopefully in about half an hour or so. So we're just battening down, we're securing everything, we're going to be on a starboard tack pretty much all the way, so it's, we're just preparing the boat for the heel to make sure nothing falls over, and obviously got to secure this one. This is Leia. Essentially, she's just a clickbait for this episode. It's been an incredible journey working on Rum Punch, but more than just fixing the boat, 
this time away has been about something deeper. Struggling with motivation can really set you on a downward spiral, and sometimes the best way to heal is to be out here, embracing the elements, feeling the wind, and connecting with the sea. Sailing has this incredible ability to bring us clarity and peace. There's something magical about being out here, away from the noise of everyday life. It's a chance to reset, to find balance and to appreciate the simple joys of nature. some cheese on your pasta scarlet. No thanks. No cheese at all? No, I don't like parmesan. Oh dear, the Italians would be offended. After a full day sailing and a dinner without cheese, we said our good nights and retired to our cabins, drifting off to the gentle tapping of water on the hull. Just like that, my time on this trip was over. I had to swap out the open ocean for steel tracks and catch my train home. Luckily I got to end my trip in style as the only train out of Kingswear is a steam engine. I bought my ticket and waited, listening to the distinct whistle getting closer and closer. We said our goodbyes, knowing it wouldn't be long before seeing each other again. Although it was a noisy and bumpy journey, I couldn't think of a better place to sit and reflect on this time sailing and how excited I was to complete our project. I had a renewed sense of drive and couldn't wait to crack on and make this a life for Ellie and I. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button and if you've enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments. Join us in two weeks as we're back on board Rum Punch where the refit continues.